Hi guys, Monday Night Mystery here. Today, I'm gonna explain a 2017 Russian action and science fiction movie called Guardians. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. If you have any recommendations or want particular video please let me know in comment box below. The movie begins with the footage during the Cold War where a secret organization called Patriots are doing human experiments in order to strengthen the country's military. Each of the selected volunteers is given a unique superhuman power such as transforming into a beast and controlling rocks. In the present day, to eliminate the instability and inconsistency of human beings, numerous autonomous fighter robots are seen demonstrating their abilities in front of the government representatives to detect a desired object and directly destroy it. They are also fast and efficient, causing them to be able to dodge enemies' attack easily. The robots suddenly move on their own and they approach the control room, launching missiles towards it and killing all the representatives in there. Not long after, a cyborg named Kuratov shows up, revealing that he is the one who controlled the fighter robots earlier. Based on that destructive event, the Ministry of Defense conducts an urgent meeting where the general reveals that Kuratov was responsible for the Patriots project. The program was a big success and one of Kuratov's colleagues began a second project called Module 1, a project that allows someone to control all vehicles from a distance without touching it. However, Module 1 was a big failure. Kuratov and his colleague were forced to terminate the project, but he was so ambitious and decided to steal the research result of renowned Professor Viktor Golbanov. After that, he secretly did a series of genetic research on his own, leading to the death of innocent people who were being used as guinea pigs. The military decided to arrest him in his lab. Kuratov hid in a room and attempted to assemble a bomb, causing a huge explosion. However, he survived as his body was covered with chemicals. Because of that, he gained enormous power and eventually transformed into a cyborg form while managing to complete the Module 1 project, allowing him to be able to control vehicles. Meanwhile, Kuratov arrives at a warehouse where military vehicles are being kept. With his power, he manages to start and control the trucks without touching them, getting ready to build his own army. The general explains that the only way to beat Kuratov is to find and persuade the superhumans from the Patriots project to help them. Thus, Major Elena Larina is appointed to lead the mission. She goes into the Patriots control room where she immediately orders her team to track down every single Patriots superhumans. Before the general leaves, he concludes that the team that will be formed after all the superhumans are being found will be named as Guardians. The team does a deep search throughout the entire database, social media, and unusual reports. They slowly manage to retrieve the data and eventually locate the superhumans one by one. Elena and the team immediately head over to the first superhuman hideout in a hidden church where Elena confronts Lur, a man whose superpower is to control stone. He initially refuses to join the team, but she offers him the chance to revenge on Kuratov, who tortured him while in the experiment. They then travel to a desert where Khan, who is equipped with curved swords and super speed superpower, easily eliminates Elena's men. After Lur convinces him, he decides to join the team to seek out revenge. In a secluded woods, they approach Asus who can transform into a huge and strong bear. The fourth and last superhumans, Xenia, has the ability to become invisible underwater. The team confronts her at the backstage where she and Khan engage in a short fight. Not long after, Lur and Asus show up and encourage her to join the team to defeat Kuratov. The Guardians, which consists of four superhumans, is finally formed. Xenia reveals that all the superhumans cannot grow old. The military manages to locate Kuratov and they are given the first task to capture him in an old factory where a lot of Kuratov's men are patrolling. Unfortunately, the communication with the control room is cut off and superhumans have to move on their own. Asus, in his bare form, and Khan fight the guards while Xenia and Lur sneak into the building. However, Kuratov and his men are aware of the ambush and have prepared some traps to capture the superhumans. Xenia is detected and becomes frozen. On the other side, Lur is ambushed, but he manages to block all the bullets by forming the rocks as his armor and eliminates Kuratov's men easily. Kuratov finally appears and battles Lur in a one versus one fight. Unfortunately, the cyborg is much stronger than expected and manages to overpower the rocky guy. He knocks Lur out easily. Outside, Khan is paralyzed while Asus gets captured with a special web. Kuratov offers the Guardians to join him so that they can rule the world together, but the superhumans refuse, which makes him disappointed. The Guardians, except Lur, are imprisoned and are given 24 hours to rethink their decision. Elena arrives late at the factory, finding Lur lying unconscious on the ground. Kuratov then goes to a military facility, showing that he has gathered his own army and troops. 
The troops wreak havoc on the city, forcing the military to evacuate the people. They even steal a tower that transmits signals to the old Soviet satellite. Suddenly, a military representative named Nikolai, who leaked the ambush plan to Kuratov, appears and asks Kuratov for a reward, but the cyborg strangles him to death. Kuratov plans to transport the tower to a higher place which will allow him to control every vehicle all around the world when it has reached the desirable height. Lur finally awakens and shares his sad story about having to see his loved ones die since the ability prevents him from getting old. Not long after, a professor, who is Kuratov's former co-worker, approaches Elena and decides to help her as he understands that humanity is at risk. He reveals Kuratov's secret laboratory inside the old factory and the team eventually managed to free the remaining guardians while the professor attempts to cure Lur. Assis tells Elena that he actually has found Xenia since eight years ago, but decides to keep a distance as he realizes that she lost her memory. He is also afraid that at some point he will permanently turn into a bear, so he demands to talk with the professor. Elena promises to help him. The professor is sent to the old factory to study one of Kuratov's clones. Unfortunately, Karatov confronts him there and releases the poison gas which immediately kills him. Meanwhile, the tower is finally installed on the top of Federation building in Moscow and Kuratov begins to reroute the satellite to Earth's orbit. Elena's man reveals Kuratov's real plan to take over all communication satellites, so that he can control all vehicles in the world with the device from Module 1 project. Several aircrafts are sent to interrupt Kuratov's plan, but get destroyed easily as they try to penetrate the electromagnetic shield. Elena finds Khan, who gave up and left Guardians, and encourages him to rejoin the team. To increase Guardians' fighting efficiency, Elena awards them special suits and weapons. Assis is given a mobile artillery that can automatically detect the target based on their aggression while Xenia's suit allows her to be invisible in every situation she desires and also can bring any objects she touches into invisible. Lur gets a special suit and a weapon that can generate electromagnetic impulses since his ability was neutralized by Kuratov. Finally, Khan's suit and weapons are upgraded, allowing him to block every incoming damage, including bullets and knives. They take part in training to get used to their new special suits and weapons. Slowly but sure, they manage to effectively utilize their clothes and weapons while combining them with their superpower. Only having one hour to stop Kuratov, the Guardians immediately go to Moscow while the military wait for their signal before launching rockets towards the city. Lur fights several soldiers in a basement parking space with his electric whip while Xenia and Assis advance through the streets, eliminating the emerging soldiers. Assis transforms to his second bear form which makes him stronger and faster, allowing him to destroy several robots. They get inside the building and regroup with Lur in the lift. They try to reach the transmitter tower, but are confronted by Kuratov's men. Khan free falls from the plane and slices the pipe, causing all the soldiers to fall down. They reach the power source of the shield where Xenia volunteers for the job to shut down the generator. She manages to do it and the shield immediately disappears, causing her to get injured. The Guardians confront Kuratov at the top of the tower and battle him again. However, they are still unable to defeat him, even after Xenia and Lur combine their powers. Assis transforms into his second bear form again, but gets knocked out easily by the cyborg. Khan attaches a grappling rope on an emerging airplane and rescues the Guardians from the tower since he learns that the military has launched the missiles. However, Kuratov manages to control the plane, forcing Khan to cut off the grappling rope and they fall into a river. Elena arrives at the fighting scene and warns them to escape since the missiles are already on their way. Unfortunately, Kuratov manages to control the missiles and they explode in the sky. Elena then reveals that the Guardians can combine all their energy and release a blast, but it is too risky for them. They agree to take the risk. Assis, Khan, and Xenia touch Lur while he generates an enormous blast, aiming it toward the tower. The tower and the supporting skyscrapers collapse, causing Kuratov to fall to death. However, the blast drains all Guardians' energy as all of them lay on the ground. They eventually recover and meet up with Elena on a bridge where the Guardians decide to live normally in the society. Before they leave, Elena reveals that she has found another Guardians. This is the story of the movie Guardians, if you like this video, please subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notification, and leave a like to help the channel's algorithm, and wait for the next Monday Night Mystery. And thank you.